Good morning. Welcome back to your daily tarot reading. This one's for Saturday, July 13th, 2024. Hope your week has been good and your weekend will be even better. And remember, if you can, join Lisa and I live at noon, 12 noon Pacific, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, and adjust to, accordingly in between. <laughs> So that would be like 1 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Atlantic even, right? <laughs> and if you're in another country, I just love it when you guys show up. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Okay, Saturday, July 13th. Ooh, it's right there. Okay. High Priestess reversed. Okay. Hmm. Page of Swords Upright and Six of Pentacles. Well, that's an interesting combo. Huh. Okay. Uh, High Priestess, when it comes through, when she comes through, in the uh, she's ruled by the moon, when she comes through reversed, well, there, there's a possibility that we're just a little, feeling a little out of sorts in the morning. Um, there's a real need to listen to your intuition when you wake up in the morning. So follow whatever dream time guidance if you did get any. Sometimes, too, this is a little bit of a vision problem. You know, because when it's, she's upright, it's like inner vision is intact and vision's good. But uh, below, um, reversed, you know, below, turning around below, it's, it can be maybe a little, because she's ruled by the moon, maybe a little too much... Um, salt or something the night before and you're more swollen like maybe your eyes are more swollen for some reason maybe too much salt and too much sugar we'll definitely do that especially with not enough water um but yeah and it could be it could be maybe a uh, waking up feeling the effects of hormonal changes that you know every woman goes through it's just you know because hormonal issues can come through with um, the high priestess reversed. Also, it could be something that happens in the morning and we're feeling a little emotionally reactive, you know, not in our peaceful place. So I'm sending you lots of prayers ahead of time for whatever it is. And hopefully it's none of that and this doesn't relate to you at all and it's just a lesson in the meaning of the cards. Okay, Page of Swords is... News that comes in really quickly, kind of figuring, trying to figure out like what to do with it. Um, it can be that it's just, you know, you got to be patient, need to slow down a little bit. Uh, but then again, it, it can be like mental restlessness, but it could also be just feeling very energetic. And this could tend to be all day long. There is that possibility that. Uh, with the Page of Swords being the theme, is that there's a lot of communication, a lot of talking going on. I mean, <laughs> Jupiter is in Gemini now, so um, we've got that going on for quite some time, uh, <laughs> which is an expansion of words, communication, talking, and you just really have to be careful to make sure you get the truth. But because the Page of Swords did come through upright, I don't see really too much worry with that. It's just that there can be a lot of Mental energy, uh, energetic, you know, mental energy, curiosity, too. But maybe the, the uh, answer here is to remember to listen to your intuition. You can gather all the information you want, but you really need to have that, uh, you know, your emotions balanced within, and then you'll, you'll, you'll get the right information. You know, listening to your body as well. Your body, your body doesn't lie. If your BS meter goes off when someone's talking, listen to it. <laughs> Especially if they want something. <laughs> now, the Six of Pentacles, for me, the spiritual law in this card is about uh, giving is receiving. And giving, giving is an action, but receiving is also an action. It's not passive. Uh, now, it might be that... Uh, it's possible that there's a lot of talk about which charities to donate to. 
There's a lot of investigation into which charities to donate to. Or it could just be that there's um, a lot of communication and thinking about you know, who should I, should I, should I be more generous with a certain organization or person? But this is a card of generosity and, you know, giving prosperity. You have a lot and you can share. Or even if you don't have a lot of money, you can share your energy. You can share your time. You can share your love. And that it, it I would think, would be received. So there could be a lot of like, you know, or maybe there's a maybe there's a webinar out there somewhere, you know, like a Zoom webinar or a workshop on, on um, on you know the laws of prosperity when it comes to giving and receiving. Boy, if I had the the Nine of Pentacles in there, I certainly would be talking more about that. But for now, I just I feel like it it's um, it's thinking about it's a it's a day Saturday is about gathering information and thinking about different ways to give and share whatever we have. And maybe it can be like, you know, there could be like hormonal issues or menopause or something, and you're something you've learned you want to share with others, and it's well received. So yeah, okay. Well, let me get this uploaded. Take care, you guys. Have a good day. Bye.